Hello and welcome back to Animal Wonders. I'm Jessie and this is Zima. She's right down here. Zima, you want to come on out? Want to come say hi to everyone? Here you go. Oh, good girl. There you are. Look at this beautiful bird. <laughs> good girl. All right, head on back in. Probably don't want to head back in, do you? You probably want more blueberries. You ready to catch? Zima is a keelbill toucan. She is missing her tail because she has a disabled leg. And she got that because she had what had a broken leg when she came to Animal Wonders. We worked really hard to fix it and it is healed, unfortunately. She has no feeling in her toes, which is why they end up curling over. She just she doesn't feel that she's doing that, and so that's what happens. And and she uh, ends up falling off of her perches a lot and falling on her tail and breaking her tail feathers. Now it doesn't hurt her, but it does make her look rather small. She should have a tail that's quite long. So I just got done cleaning Zima. Are you begging for more? Do you want some more? Here you go. And I thought it would be really fun to show you me putting new toys back in her enclosure because we got some really neat ones. We, we got some that were handmade, some toys that people sent her, and uh, one of them that I'm really excited for her to see is this one right here. It's her, Lucy made this, and I wanna see how she reacts to it. So, let's get her back in her home. Go on back in there, go get it. Oh, good job. And let's give her some toys and see what she does. up is this foam ball. Now I will definitely not leave this foam ball in with her unsupervised. She could take a chunk out of it, but I did want to see what she would do with it. Sometimes she likes to bite things. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and give that to Zima and see what she does with it. Are you so excited? Oh, she is her She's shivering her body. That usually means that she has a heightened emotion. I think she's really excited, but she also sees the camera and she likes to bite the camera. So I am going to keep the camera far enough away from her so I'm not distracting her from her toys. I don't think she wants to play with that green ball. It doesn't seem very exciting for her. She's, she's just uh, too excited about other things. So... I, I think that's a fail. That's okay though, that's okay. Let's try another toy. All right, next up is this little toucan, stuffed toucan toy. And I have a guess to what she's going to do to this toy, but uh, let's just, I'm not gonna tell you what I think. I think I just wanna see what she does and let you see. Oh, Zima. Oh, Zima, you killed it. Good job. Well, okay. I, I think it's really interesting how she went right after its beak, and that's what they would do in the wild. They would, if they were going to have a territorial dispute with another toucan, they would spar with their beaks. Her beak is really impressive because while it is not hard, like she can't crack things with it, it is very sharp on the sides. So when she shakes things like this, she pokes at it and then she shakes it, she can actually do a lot of damage to skin. She can cut skin uh, and if she bangs it, like hammers it with the tip of her beak, she can break bone um, and she could definitely damage an eye. So well done, Zima. Oh my goodness. Oh my, are we gonna get some more? Oh, we're getting it some more, okay. Okay, oh, oh no, she fell over. Go get it, Zima. <laughs> oh my goodness, you have got it. Yep, well done. You are the champion. <laughs> All right, we're actually going to try four different toys. This one was handmade. It says Zima on it. Thank you so much for making this cute little um, 
sponge toy. This is absolutely perfect for her. She most likely won't be able to get chunks off. If she does, I will make sure I take them out. Um, but I think she's gonna have a lot of fun chewing on this, biting it. And then we've got this cute little fuzzy, um, it's kind of squishy. I wonder if she's going to try and kill this just like she did the other toucan. And we have a nice kind of a, a, a firm but squishy uh, ball there. And we have a handmade braided rope. So I'm gonna put these around her enclosure and let's see how she reacts to them. on her perch. All right. There you go, Zima. Let's see what she does. Ooh, she went right after the braided rope. It's really hard to get close to her with the camera because she absolutely wants to bite it. Uh, she sees the little camera lenses, the circles, and she wants to, I think she thinks they're eyeballs, and she tries to pound them with the tip of her beak. All right, Zima, with your blueberry poop, you ready? Catch it. Ooh, nice try. Ready? Ooh, good catch. Nice job. Ooh. She definitely tried to kill it. She definitely tried to kill it just like the other two can. Ready? It's coming again. Do you want it? Oh! <laughs> so ferocious. Are we done? Yeah, okay, we're done. I'm taking a little break to do some grooming. Oh, baby girl. All right, so next I would like to try that handmade painted toucan. So we're gonna go for this. Now, I, don't really know what she's gonna do with it. It's not like a stuffed animal. She does like to, to kill stuffed animals, um, but it looks very much like a toucan. So I think she might wanna try and fight it uh, because it comes into her territory, but uh, she might also ignore it because it's flat. So I'm excited to see what she does. I think I'd like to tie it up here. Um, and have it kind of sitting by this perch here so she can go to it if she wants to. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Hey Zim, I'm coming in. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Hello, can I get by you? Thank you. All right. Good girl. Nice. Well done. Now, do you see this? Look at this. <laughs> she just bit the perch. <laughs> oh my goodness, she hates it so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought so. Okay, baby girl. <laughs> That was intense. I did not think it'd be that intense. I will take it out. That seemed like it was a little bit more distressing than exciting for her to do. So um, let's give her a little something else to do. So I'm gonna put this blueberry in this bowl right there so she can work on that and be distracted while I take this out. Goodness, goodness. All right, well, that was very cute. I want to keep this even if Zima doesn't want to. Uh, <laughs> I thought it might be fun, but that was, that was, she wanted it to hit it so bad that it, uh, that she fell off her perch. I don't want, I don't want that to happen. But that's exactly why we have these soft pads underneath. So when Zima falls off of her perches, which she does often because of her leg, 
she doesn't actually hurt herself on the way down. She doesn't hit very hard because they're soft. They're very squishy. They're like almost an inch thick. They're very, very nice. You okay? That was very exciting, wasn't it? Yeah, that was. <laughs> All right, let's do another fun little toy that hopefully won't be as intense for, oh, she wants them so bad. All right, they are three blind mice um, and she wants them very, very bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop them. Let's see, ready? Here, I'm gonna put them right over here so they can hang down and she can go play with them as she wants. Yeah, that was more fun, wasn't it? I think you're gonna like those. And this is what I was really excited about. This is a very fun party type thing and Zima flew down to, to check it out. So I think, I think just putting this on the floor right in the front is the best idea. I don't think we need to, to hang it up anywhere. Let's go ahead and let's, oh, it scared her. Okay, here, there you go. Sorry, I dropped it. Let's see if I put them on it. She won't be so scared of it. Yeah, she came right over. Good, good. All right, Zima, good girl. She hopped up here to eat the rest of her food. And I bet she's gonna go back and play some more with those toys. That was fun. Some of it was kind of boring because she didn't care about them very much, but the others were pretty exciting. When you are giving enrichment to an animal, you never quite know, whoa, what they're going to do. Uh, but any kind of reaction that they have is actually, you want that to, to occur. So most of the time you, you really want them to enjoy it and have fun. But sometimes when it elicits a territorial response like the, the wooden toucan did for Zima, that's not necessarily a bad thing for them because it is a natural behavior. And part of enrichment is trying to elicit natural behaviors in your animals that you're caring for. So that wasn't the worst thing to have happen. That was actually okay. However, I don't want her to always be feeling territorial and all, because that is also what can become stressful. So having a, a territorial response and then letting that go is, is good for her. So I, I was happy with that whole enrichment adventure that we went on. I think it's really interesting how she went right after that toucan's beak and how much she enjoys just playing with things. And I bet she's gonna pick apart this, this uh, like party pinata type toy. She'll pull it apart. She doesn't really eat paper, so it's not dangerous for her. Um, but it's gonna be really fun, fun for her to, to pick apart. So thank you for letting me share this little snippet of my day and uh, just be glad that you weren't here for the four hours of cleaning right before this because that's part of taking care of two cans too. It's not just all giving them toys. Zima decided to come over and join us again, so I wanted to make sure that you got to see her. So if you would like to continue going on animal adventures, seeing how we care for the animals that we rescue at Animal Wonders, and just learning cool facts about them, please subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much, bye. Mmm, look what Zima gave me. Some blueberry jam. Mmm, delicious, girl, delicious.